what's up everybody um it has been another crazy crazy day in the life of charlie but not in any kind of good way that would be interesting to you guys just in a normal like work work and other random stuff kind of way um today i'm back at the office after traveling to marlboro and to somerset and um, so that's great good to be back at home and now picking up all the loose ends and all the stuff that um, needed to be taken care of after the shows i wanted to just really quickly touch on during my lunch break here at work touch on a couple of products that i think are really great products that i think um serve serve the market really well that they offer excellent value. I constantly get the question, what is the best reel for, for a beginner? What is the best reel for somebody that doesn't want to spend a lot of money but wants to get something that performs well? And today I'm going to go over three options. Um, and these are not the only options. These are just three that, that I personally like and have used and have a lot of experience with. Um, and so I'm going to go over those really quick. So, value for dollar when it comes to reels. Um, I have like reels that I have set up as backups or loaner reels. And this is the reel that I use for that. This is a reel from the Fly Shack. It's called the Kedetta. You can find it on the Fly Shack website. And the retail price on this is $30, uh, $30 $29.95. It is reversible, so left or right hand retrieve. It is die cast aluminum. It has a nice disc drag system, nothing fancy. It's a $30 reel, but it works really well. I've caught fish on this. I've had my friends catch fish on this, and um, the Fly Shack sells a ton of these, and they they do really well. We don't have a lot of problems with warranty or anything like that on them. So, best bang for your buck in the low budget arena, right here, Kedetta. I I truly believe that it's a good product. Um, okay, stepping up from there. Now, there's not really, in my opinion, anything on the market that fits between these two these two reels. This next reel I'm grabbing here is the Lampson Liquid. This is also a die cast reel assembled in America by Lampson Waterworks Company. Um, I'm a big fan of their stuff going way back to my mountain biking days when when they were uh, producing and engineering designing the head shock of Cannondale fame. Anyway, same company they make reels. They make really, really excellent reels. And this one is their very beginner entry level. It is die cast, but it still has this nice lamps and drag system. And I think that their drag system, for the money, it's, it can't be beat. It cannot be beat. It is sealed. It works well. They sell these um, extra spools for these. They sell this in a three spool kit so you get the frame of the reel and then two additional spools this reel starts at 109 dollars so a great deal again for that and in my opinion there's nothing on the market between these two you go from reels of this quality and this design and you jump right up to this um, not to say that there's not price pointed reels that are in a price point between 30 and 110 but i think quality wise this keeps up with all of those so just my two cents okay the next reel up and i mean i could keep going on here forever but we're just gonna i'm gonna keep everything under um 200 and i'm not even going to bring up any other reels i'm just going to talk about this one right here this is the lampson remix so it uses the same spool die cast spool as the liquid but it integrates it with a made in america bar stock aluminum cnc machined 
frame. And this reel is great. I own this reel. I also own the liquid, actually. Um, but this reel right here, this is Yvonne's reel. She fishes with this one all the time. And I bought it in the three spool set. Um, it's a great deal. This reel starts off at $159. Again, a great value, I think, for the money. Unless you're looking at something on sale or a clearance reel or something like that, this one is really hard to beat. So there you go, guys. That's my two cents on the three reels for this week. I've got a bunch of great fly tying um, videos that are going to be coming up. I've got some CDC flies. I've got some more streamer stuff. I've got another beginner entry. Um, part two of the beginner fly tying series will be going up. I know I said that last week. It's true. Um, so yeah, hang in there guys. Fish more, catch more. Thanks a lot and see you later.